Hi, hello. In the previous video, I've created this model, this part as you can see here. And in this video, I will try to extract the properties of this part using Easy PPC uh, plugin. Um, the first thing I need to do is I need to change the name of the instance and the model, of course, if it's different, uh, to uh, allow the plugin to run. And for the sake of this video, I will try to uh, extract two properties, which are E11 and uh, G23. So all of it, that, all of that is done. I, I click OK. Uh, the, the the software should run OK uh, because we've done the mesh. So we expect to have a, a, a periodic mesh or an identical mesh on all sides, or uh, a mesh with uh, with an accuracy as you can see here on top. With the, uh, it's to the power of minus seven. So as you can see here, an error came up, and the error says that there is a there is there is some some issue with some of the sets these sets have not been created so we need to look into these if we if we have a closer look at these sets we we, we will need we will be able to identify what's the problem and why uh, we've got that error so let me just look to these and i will see that here it says that the left or the right um, surfaces have not been created or uh, there is an issue apparently in the left or right surfaces so we need to look into this uh, the plugin uh, will create a set that shows which nodes have some, is some issues in them uh, in order for us it w which will help us to uh, see where is the issue and try to uh, try to fix it or amend it so uh, the issues are um, the issues that, are, that stopped the plugin from running are in this set as you can see here, so it's the left and right set. Apparently, there is a problem with the with the meshing of uh, of these sets. Um, let's if we have a closer look at this uh, mesh, and uh, if we just try to see what's the issue. So it's not all of the sets. Some of the some of the elements. Uh, if I make it transparent and zoom in. I probably can't see it on in in, 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 in the eyes. So probably there is some uh, up to some digits. The locations of the nodes are not identical. That's why uh, we we get an error that the the plugin cannot match points on the left side to the right side or uh, the other way around. Or uh, so uh, that's why the plugin stopped and uh, didn't uh, proceed. Again, I can't see anything here if I zoom in. So there is a solution to this. Either remesh it and try to do it more accurately, and we didn't see it. I don't think we had an option to do that. Or we can do something with the plugin. But before I do that, I, I just remembered that I haven't assigned a, a material property for this model. So I'm glad that stopped us. So let's do that. I'll try an, epo in an epoxy material and I'll give it um, uh, an uh, elastic properties uh, as a, as a I'll, I'll assume it's um, it's isotropic and I'll just give it properties that I remember that I've used before and I can give it some density as well I'll just assume the density is 1 just to get an indication of uh, volume of the of the, the the bulk volume of the epoxy so that is done I need to create um, a section for that and I need to assign that section so again it's one material so uh, things shouldn't go wrong so that's done now I can run the plugin again but this time I'm gonna try to reduce the accuracy of the of the mapping on the side so instead of seven I'll try to use five and that shouldn't be a problem I think it should because when I zoomed in I wasn't able to see the uh, the problem in the in the mapping so uh, if I change that to five maybe that would work so let's just have a look so I've stopped the video here for a while and then I know I didn't stop the video so job one is submitted
so here I stop the video and I start it again you, you will have eventually the time that it took to run the model so you don't need to worry about that and I'm using my uh, standard settings on my comp on my laptop so I'm not uh, giving it any priorities so that shouldn't be an issue if we have a look we will see that we've got some properties here and the, and we've got the mass as well and we've got E11 here so the program runs and there were no issues when we changed the accuracy of the of the mapping on the sites I will just try to do um, a quick run here quick test to see the properties like for E11 so we've got the density which basically is how much epoxy we've got times the uh, the modulus of elasticity of the uh, of the epoxy will get something on this which is uh, quite close to the computation of course that's just uh, rough calculations and uh, you can verify it and uh, should work fine and you can do the same thing for g23 if you want to do that if we look into the jobs that we've got I can show you some uh, the, the output of the jobs so if we go to results I need to do that twice I don't know why but I just need to do it twice and if I see the deformed shape we will have something like that I'll just change the scale just to give you an indication of how it works so let's try 0.4 looks fine so that's the deformed shape and as you can see that the boundary conditions are not uh, plain boundary conditions there are some curves which we can't really uh, I don't know if you can see it but probably you can they're not uh, uh, plain surfaces because there are voids uh, inside them uh, inside the model So all the output proper, all the output request, uh, any properties, any uh, data you can extract from the from the job output. So uh, that's quite useful, um, rather than getting a, a, a plugin or a program, a software that can just give you a property. So you can do whatever you want uh, with the output uh, of the of the job. And if we want to have a look at uh, G23, again I have to do that twice. and this is a deformed shape we can change the scale if we want and it's a uh, it's an elastic material so um, the strain applied wouldn't make wouldn't make a difference shouldn't make it any difference so that's the deformed shape and it's periodic if you look at it from all sides so uh, having this RVE uh, duplicating it in all, from all sides would should create should give us the same um, a fully matched up uh, uh, model and that's what it, well, that's what it's, it's doing. I will try to change the scale here, so that we can see the uh, the deformed the boundary surfaces. So you, you can clearly see that these surfaces do not remain uh, plain. None of, none of the surfaces remain plain actually uh, as a result of uh, having the voids within the within the model I can just show you a view of the uh, inside of the, of the model as well so here you can see the void clearly there again you can get any properties you want you can extract any data um, from the uh, from the out from the job file that we've just made. So thanks again for watching, and I hope the tool will be available soon so that you can use it and give us your feedback. Thanks again.